This is an instructional video for low prototype casting process. First, execute any pre to set the simulation condition. There are two ways to import STL files. Let's start with the first way. Click File and click Import to import the STL file. Import is a function that loads the saved modeling in STL format into any pre. Another way to import STL files is very simple. Simply just drag the STL file to any pre. Deactivate the mold entity to make sure that the imported STL file is loaded correctly. For low bridge die casting, each STL file for cavity mold, stock, and feeder are a must. Now zap mold with zap mold. Casting only function is only used for flow analysis without mold, and is not used for general casting. Casting plus mold is used when simulating cavity and mold. When you click the Casting plus mold button, you will see three different options. First of all, box is to create a virtual space. Please input the thickness of each direction. Second of all, Shell Thickness option will be enabled when you input Shell Thickness for investment casting. Lastly, Mold Entity is used when there is Mold STL. Made Cast from the Cavity of Mold is a function that recognizes the rest of the mold is cast when there is no cavity but mold data. In other words, if there is Cast Entity, even when you check this function, simulation will not be proceeded. In this case, since there is mold STL, please select mold entity. There are three ways to generate mesh, which are build uniform mesh, build variable mesh, and auto mesh. First is build variable mesh. Press the spacebar to switch the mode to selection mode. Then select start and end. After entering dividing number, set the remaining part as auto block. Mesh will be generated in the orthogonal direction of the selected axis. Set the rest of the Y and Z axis. Mesh generation cannot be executed on the forwarded axis displayed on the screen when generating mesh. After setting X, Y, and Z axis, click OK button to generate mesh. Secondly, we'll look into Uniform Mesh. In the Uniform Mesh, there are total number of cells, dividing the simulation area into a fixed size mesh when the number of all cells is input. Or is it there is number of cells along axis, which specifies the number of mesh in each axis direction, and size of unicell that specifies one cell size. Size of cell is a function that decides the mesh size of X, Y, and Z directions. The total number of mesh will be generated automatically by the program based on the values entered by the user.
The last one is automash. Click automation for X, Y, and Z. After setting the minimum and the maximum size of automash. Minimum and maximum size as the reference value of the generated mesh size. Let's start with task design. After selecting the process, please select the range of simulation. In the material setting, double click the entity to select the material. Multiple selections can also be made by pressing the control or shift key. In initial condition, enter the initial temperature of each entity. The initial temperature here states the temperature before the simulation starts. Hit transfer coefficient value as input automatically. But please make sure if the value is right or not. The heat transfer coefficient unit of this video is calorie. Set pouring temperature in gate condition. For a low pressure die casting process, please activate backflow at the top of the gate condition tab. Backflow is a phenomenon that the milk goes down to the hot water pipe when the pressure generated in gravity direction is larger then pouring pressure. Use the space bar to switch to select mode. Then select gate and input pouring temperature. Change the status to pressure and variable, which is also known as time and flow condition. And click the icon to input pouring pressure condition. Select thermal condition as adiabatic and after filling. To set gravity force, please click enable and set the gravity direction. The gravity direction is based on the axis displayed on the screen. Gas and metal surface is a function that predicts the amount and the position of the generated gas when melt is poured into the cavity. Oxide slide inclusion model is a function to set oxide occur conditions and to predict oxide dispersion in cavity. After activating it, click the icon next to variable temperature to see the value of the automatic input. The input value should be zero at solidification temperature of male material and one at pouring temperature. Particle tracing is a function to track the movement path by expressing the melt as particles coming through gate. Click to enable start slash end control. For particle source value, 10 is recommended. Particle source number sets the area where particles are generated at the gate. For instance, if you input number 10, the gate cross section is divided by 10 times 10 to generate particle. By filling rate is generally used.
Shrinkage model is a model for predicting solidification shrinkage. There are two ways to install a sensor. First is by using a mouse, and the other is by inputting coordinates. Sensor allows you to view speed, pressure, temperature, and etc. in a specific part of the simulation area. Use the cross section function and click at the location where you like to install sensor. Channel is for setting the cooling channel. If you set channel in the entity setting, the entity will appear in the window. Then select entity and click properties to set the time slash flux setting. The temperature of channel will be maintained at the temperature set by user instead of the way the cooling water flows into the channel. And it will be set based on the average value of inlet slash outlet temperature. Please input the exact conditions since low bridge die casting is greatly affected by the cooling channels on and off time. In Stock tab, please set stock out time and air temperature to input the air temperature inside of stock. After removing pressure inside of stock, the air temperature inside is not at room temperature due to melt temperature, therefore setting is needed. After setting in slash out condition, Click Save, then pre-setting process will all be done. In general for M condition, please select 100% solidification. However, this can vary depending on the test design setting. The information shows in progress result are temperature, oxide, velocity, flow tracking, and these can be checked only according to the output interval set in output condition. When setting is done on any pre and the file is saved, Eight files will be created in the folder. If the extension is GSCX, it is the file that contains some contents from any pre. MIF6X is virtual mesh information on real flow. Therefore, if you delete it, real flow will not be applied. MSHX includes physical mesh information. PRPX is a solver execution file. PXM, XML, TXT, and VPX are the files that store information about simulation settings. Save it via any pre to proceed to simulation, or you can also execute any solver for simulation.
After executing any solver, click Open Project to open the file. Then, the information window will appear about the space available on disk, space required on disk, and number of result files. Please click Start after confirming the information and proceed the simulation.